Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alisha Mo here. Just got back to Dubai and I was very very happy to see a package sitting in my room. This is Ishin VR006 Mini HD FPV video goggles with 40 channel 5.8 GHz video receivers built in. And not only that, to make your life easier, one click auto scan feature for you to search and lock on your desired frequency automatically. So let's take out this Ishin VR006 Mini HD FPV video goggles. Now before we take it outside the box as usual we will look at the features given here quickly HD display mini type one key auto search function for FPV real-time display of current uh, frequency which is very very good you want to you want to know what frequency you're watching so you can inform other pilots as well adjustable headband and it's also said this is a HD mini custom customized VR virtual reality video goggles well FPV video goggles let's keep moving and see what's inside this box because I can't wait to use these video goggles all right here we have the Ishin VR06 user manual that is the first thing that you see describes everything about your video goggles okay then here it is we have the headband for you to mount your goggles on your head okay and after that we have a wet and dry wipe for you to clean your lenses we have relevant cable for charging the batteries we have two antennas, one patch and one mushroom antenna that actually gives you better reception. Finally, we have the video goggles here, okay, and behold, for Ishin VR006 mini HD video goggles. Check it out. This is really small. I, mean, I have Ishin VR D2 Pro sitting here so we can easily compare the uh, size of this goggles but in my hands right here you can see this is small this is mini video goggles while taking a closer look you will notice the uh, ventilation vents right here to keep the hardware of your video goggles cool while you are operating it on top of the goggles you can see you can mount two antennas in the center right here you have an AV in port so you can actually supply your video goggles audio video in this is the front of the goggle you can see ventilation holes here or vent for ventilation while the hardware is operating at the right side you also have the ventilation or vents right here you have buttons which is on off scan plus minus and many buttons that's all you need to operate your goggles at the left side of the goggles you have nothing but a USB port for you to charge your video goggles battery you can you can even charge it on the go while you're using it using your power banks for your cell phones very very easy just like the one here and that's why they provided you the USB port which is you know very very convenient for you to charge the video goggles while you're using it this is the viewing area a very nice little padded area for you to wear it comfortably on your eyes uh, how well it how it looks and how much face does it cover while you're wearing it let me show it to you right away now regarding the comfort on my face or on my eyes it is very very comfortable I don't feel anything there's a little bit of light uh, slipping in from the left and a little bit of light slipping in from under my nose here and just a little bit hard right here on my nose maybe my nose is a little longer that's why I don't know how well it will fit on bigger faces. If you're a big guy, you have a big face, how well it will fit on big face and how, well, how comfortable it would be. But for now, for my small self, this is really comfortable on my eyes. Inside it's pretty dark except that I said there's a little bit of light slipping in from the left and from under my nose. Uh, rest is fine, which I can actually adjust basically by adding some more padding down here on the nose and making it completely dark inside. So this was the VR06 on my head. Now once again for the size comparison, if I'm going to put on Ishin VR D2 Pro, you can see how big they are on my face right here. Okay, 
so you can easily do the size comparison. And now I'm going to put on the Ishin VR006 again. They are more comfortable, they are very, very lightweight compared to the VR DG Pro. They are heavy, so these are very comfortable and very lightweight. Now, to test the video goggles right away, uh, let me turn on one of the FPV aircraft. So let me power it on and it will start transmitting the video right away. Alright, so this is how you can see the view in my room with this little FPV wing. And this is my handsome self, check it out. Hey, what's up, what's up? So, view is really, really nice inside, you can see. Now, I wish it had, uh, you know, DVR so you can actually record your video. But hey, you cannot expect everything in one video goggles or one prod product because otherwise how these manufacturers are gonna sell the other products. Anyway, let me enjoy the view inside the goggles. Ooh, now I can see it's really nice and dark inside. That little slipping light from my nose is not affecting anything. The view is simply clear and perfect in here. It's actually more clear than the Ishin VR D2 Pro. Hold on, I can, uh, according to how I'm feeling with both goggles, I can compare right away. Okay, with Ishin VR D2 Pro, I'm going to set one angle, one view on that. With Ishin VR D2 Pro, I have a bigger image, larger image, brighter image. However, it's a little, how to say, standard definition, more towards the standard definition, less clarity uh, compared to VR006 right here. And now when I put on the Ishin VR006, uh, it's not that bright, which simply speaking, I can actually uh, increase the brightness using these menu buttons and set the image quality as I want. However, total stock setup without touching anything, the image is very, very clear, more clear compared to Ishin VR D2 Pro. But having said that, Ishin VR006 mini SD video goggles, FPV video goggles, are giving me much more clearer image compared to Ishin VR D2 Pro while Ishin VR D2 Pro has a larger bigger view well size man look at that size definitely now what is missing in Ishin VR 006 is number one DVR Ishin if you could add a DVR in this video goggles oh my god this is going to become a perfect product for us FPV pilots right here anyway so DVR is missing uh, adjustable lens that is to move the lens forward and backward that is missing so once you put on the video goggles you cannot adjust the lens forward and backward which is not the case here in Ishin VR D2 Pro you have two sliders you can move the lens forward and backward and set the comfort for your eyesight right here inside. So basically VRD2 Pro have this feature to move the lens forward and backward and you the comfort for your eyesight. Ishin VR006 do not have that feature either. Ishin VR006 has more clear image compared to the VRD2 Pro. It's compact, lightweight and more comfortable to wear and of course easier to carry around, takes less space to carry around in your gear boxes or in your FPV boxes or in your car. And of course ability to charge the battery off a power bank right there in the field is another advantage of the Ishin VR006 right here. When it comes to Ishin VR D2 Pro, you will get it if you want adjustable lens distance. If you want a DVR, that is a blessing to record your flights. So you will have a DVR and of course will fit better on bigger faces. It will be more comfortable for bigger faces. And remember the Ishin VR D2 Pro is my personal favorite and really really highly recommended product from Ishin when it comes to the FPV video goggles. And now Ishin has won my heart once again with this mini HD video goggles Ishin VR 006. Enough said, 
this plane definitely needs to be flown outdoors and I can enjoy FPV using this but I will run a VRD2 Pro side by side to record the DVR footage see I said DVR is missing if there was a DVR here this is gonna be the perfect FPV video goggles for us FPV pilots here Hey, now you can stream and enjoy watching all my videos on a big screen smart television by using Alishan Moroku app. Go ahead and check out the link in the video description and download and install the Alishan Moroku app and start streaming my videos to your big screen smart television right away. Once again, thank you very much for following my work and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the upcoming and exciting 